good afternoon. Thank you for joining me on Vacation Station TV. In a moment, I'm going to tell you all about this place behind me, Tent Masters. So stick around. We'll be right back. Thank you for joining me on Vacation Station TV. And as you can see by the sign, we're at a place called Tent Masters. Now, if you haven't seen this place or you want to know what Tent Masters is, it's not a typical pop-up tent that you would find in a store or Walmart or anything like that. These are Yala, Yala Luxury Canvas Lodges. You heard me right, a canvas lodge. Now, what I'm about to show you is going to knock your socks off because these places behind me, these are the smaller or the moderate size lodges. And we are going to take a tour with Stephen Woodburn, who's the uh, manager here. And I want you to pay close attention to what Tech Masters is all about. Now we're approaching obviously a modest size tent but it's more than just a tent and with me i have stephen woodburn how are you doing well how are you sir um always better than bad and your position here i'm the director of sales and marketing for tent masters and tell me a little bit about tent masters we are based here in Sevierville, tennessee we operate all over north america and we import yala luxury canvas tents we deliver these worldwide um, actually manufactured in the netherlands Dutch design delivered worldwide, and we operate from Panama to Canada all over North America. So this isn't just a little mom and pop operation? Not necessarily, no sir. Um, here we are a family business, uh, Tent Masters is the North American front, uh, but no, we're, we're a large international company and we're just the uh, North American front for Yala. Yala. These are all Yala canvas tents. What makes Yala so different? You know, it's uh, pioneering. Uh, you know, this is all original tents you're going to see today, except one, and that's going to be our bell tent, which will be the next one we'll see. Um, but everything you see here is uh, it's all Dutch design, it's all original. Um, I mean, we started this in 2009 and we've come a long way, and now we're in 50 countries worldwide with over 6,000 tents. Very large company. <laughs> very, very large company. Show me around. Yeah, absolutely. So this tent right here is a very modest tent. I mean, this is our Woody Jr. tent. It's a sleeper tent. It has uh, two single beds, you know, you got a small dresser in here, and you got a nice little uh, covered porch. Very cute. Um, okay, where would this go? Um, you can put this uh, in all sorts of places. We sell this as pool houses, um, we sell this as hunting cabins. You can put this in a lot of resorts. One of our most popular tents is this tent right here for a lot of campgrounds and resorts that have uh, pitch your own tent sites. And these are people that come in, they pitch their own tents, but maybe they have poor turnover. Maybe they're trying to get rid of that. So they'll put these in because they have such a small uh, footprint and they run them out left and right. We have a resort in uh, Miramar Beach, Florida actually called Camp Golf. They purchased seven of these for just under $50,000. Um, they put them all up in about a week and a half, two weeks. They rent them out at $120 a night. No within, kidding. Within three months, they saw a full return of their investment. Now it's just up and right. It's all, it's all profit from that point. It's simply appointed a couple of regular sized beds a little nightstand in there, very comfortable, and on a cool uh, fall night here in the Tennessee mountains, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, and, and obviously it's very well made. Tell me about the construction of these stones. Now, this is a uh, PVC roof right here. And you got two separate entities there. You got the inner tank canvas, which is a, a Dutch military grade. It's mold, building resistant. It's also fire retardant. Um, the PVC hmm. roof is manufactured in Germany. All the poles are Scandinavian pine pressure treated with galvanized steel brackets. They look sturdy. These, these are not your average everyday tent. In fact, no, no, all no. of our tents, um, you got the Beaufort scale for wind ratings. It runs from 0 to 12, with mm -hmm. 12 being a hurricane. All of our structures are rated for an 11, which is a very violent wind storm. So it's not the wind you got to worry about with these structures, but what the wind carries. Right. So uh, dead branches, widow makers, stuff that can fall and puncture the unit. That's what you got to be mindful of. But uh, obviously, well, if you look at the construction of these things, these, are, these aren't cheap or light. They, obviously, they hold the joints together well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the stability, the, the it's not compromised by weight or the wind. Okay. 
show me more, my friend. Oh, and this is Tasha and Robert. Um, there are people here on staff as well. They're they're tagging along with us, so they kind of see what's going on, and they learn a little bit about these places. Uh, this tent right here is actually the only tent we sell that uh, the platform isn't necessary. Right. So when we walk, but it is it, nice. It, it is very nice. I encourage it, of course. But when you walk into this tent, you'll realize that it's got a PVC liner on the floor, so you can actually have this in a flat terrain of grass. Mm -hmm. You can set this up in about two hours. And can I walk in? Oh, absolutely. Yes, This, this is actually a great honeymoon tent. I, I could, not that I'm on a honeymoon, but I could see this could really be a very romantic situation in the right atmosphere. You've got, it looks like a queen size bed, pretty close to it, the little nightstands. Um, lighting up there. And you could run power into these tents. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, most of our tents, uh, when we walk over to the nice room, you see that uh, we have full electrical hookups, water hookups, okay. sewer. Um, our philosophy is bringing you closer to nature without sacrificing the amenities of the hotel. So these very come good. fully the Environmentally conscious, I like that. Absolutely. I like that very much because, you know, we, you have to admit, we're looking around Pigeon Forge and Sevierville, uh, a lot of property gets eaten up to put things on it. Nothing gets hurt here. I like that a lot. That's very and good. When you see our next furniture line, you'll really understand. Um, most of the furniture line we use is uh, reclaimed scaffold lumber. Um, these are all Dutch design, built in Holland. Um, if you go to Holland, it's illegal to cut down trees. They're hard enough trees. It's flat as far as the eye can see. It's all farmland. So we're replacing a lot of the pallets and uh, repurpose them into furniture. Very it actually good. makes really, really nice furniture, which we'll see in the next days. Very nice. And with me, I have Lisa, CFO of Tent Masters, and good afternoon to you, ma'am. Good afternoon. Tell me a little bit about this model. This is the 40? This is the Luxury Lodge 40. It has two sizes, the 40 and the 49. So you can go up a size up. Uh, the Luxury Lodge 40 has two rooms. Right now we have it setting up to sleep five. You wanna come on inside to the dining room? I would love to. Now this is quite a nice little dining table so for... A, a, you can have six if you decide to have two bunk beds. Um, inside the room you could sleep six, but we have it set up for five at this time. And the Luxury Lodge 49 would sleep up to six to eight people. It's an additional bedroom. As you see, we do have a kitchen. The best part of this setup is you can space it outwards. So you can be looking out to the beautiful outdoors as you're cooking breakfast. It does have a propane um, stove top. Right here we would have our kitchen, our little refrigerator put inside our refrigerator cabinet. This has a nice seating view area for you to relax in the evenings. And I noticed that the furniture is to scale. It's to the size of the lodge. It is to the size of the lodge. Uh, the, not only does the manufacturer make the tents, he also makes all the furniture. Um, so we have a full-size bedroom, um, and then we do have a, a bathroom. You're giving me the royal tour. I like this. Now, I noticed that um, the, the lodges themselves are basically a taupe uh, or um, a canvas color. Do they come in other colors? They can come in other colors. This is the most popular color, uh, but we do have a lighter, almost a whitish cream color. The PCV roofing, though, has four different colors. The basic bright beige, uh, medium beige, brown, and a khaki color. Ooh. So you can change the style of the roof. Sometimes ordered in larger sizes can have more different colors, but that would have to be ordered by a large quantity. The only one you're missing is camouflage. I don't think I want to do camouflage. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> now this shower is a not a normal shower you'd find in a tent anywhere. No, this shower, one of the best features is that it's a rain shower. It's a regular shower, but it is also a rain shower feature in it. 
So any tent would be recommended to have an enclosed shower, mm -hmm. and this is our enclosed shower. And these are imported from France? From, yes, from France. It has a full-size commode, which is very unusual for any type of outdoor um, tenting or camping, which really makes the ladies in the family happy because there's a bathroom here. We need our, yes. We I know. Our, we need our amenities. My, <laughs> My wife almost died when she saw the style of the sinks and the fact that the bathroom is a beautiful bathroom. It um, and you can decorate and appoint this thing accordingly. And really, Walls it's are nice. interchangeable. Now we do have yeah. curtains, or we do have sliding doors. Now this is what they call a barn door. A barn door, a barn sliding door. And notice how she's sliding it open. The rails are underneath; they're hidden, and get you the privacy that you need. It's not cheap by any means. It's very well made and it slides very smoothly. Very smoothly. Now the walls are all freestanding from what I understand. They are freestanding. They do have supports on the side as well as the furniture and, and position also supports the walls. And so they all work together in they unison. They do work together. Now this is the, uh, this is uh, the, the kids room. The kids room. Now you can either have it just uh, sleep three or you can do the double bunk beds to sleep four here's the bunk beds for those of you moms and dads out there here are the bunk beds you got the upper and then the lower and of course the little stair and really well made this is if i'm not mistaken this is recycled wood is it not it, um it some of it is recycled wood other of it is is um it is pine okay from, uh, Stephen had told me, but I already forgot pine. it. Scandinavian, Scandinavian pine. pine. So it's not even local pine, it's Scandinavian, which it, it's very durable. It is. Very, very durable. And just look at this living area, the kitchen, and notice that you have stainless steel burner, propane burner here, and a stainless steel sink. Nice countertop. This is not what you expected to see, I am sure in what you would call a tent, but it's not. It's a lodge. It's a luxury, it's lodge. A luxury lodge. Now, I understand that there are three places in the Gatlinburg area that actually rent these out. Mm -hmm. And I have a list of them, and, and I will post them right above here, where you see my finger going across. The places that you can actually go and rent, and these are the models, right? These are these are the models. In fact, except for the Ridge has uh, what they call the luxury suite, which we do not have on the premises. Luxury suite. It is called a suite. So uh, yes. Will you ever have one erected here so I can get a video of that? We we might. I'd love to see that. We might because we're saving a, um, a space over here for our newer model, one of our newer models that are coming out in October wait to see them. <laughs> I can't wait. You do wait. have a spacious front porch. And now the next model we're going into is? Now did Stephen explain to you about the easy sit picnic no, table? No, not at all, but you will now. Tell me you know about what the easy. Basically the easy sit picnic table was designed by one of the workers at the factory. Really? He was noticed at a picnic that all the women wearing skirts were having trouble sitting down in the picnic table. Well, yeah, it's so a little he, awkward. He modified it so he calls it the easy sit so us ladies still can wear skirts and dresses great and idea. sit down at a picnic table with grace because you can a normal picnic table is complete across here right. it, it you have to slide from there to here or from there to there here or you can just it. walk in and la 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 nice Even and when you're glamping <laughs> you are still a lady <laughs> yes i like it now this model is what this model is the woody 27. Okay, this is the Woody 27. It comes in three sizes, the 27, 38, and the 49. You come on inside the Woody 27. This is their smallest tent that will still allow you to have a bathroom and a kitchen. And it's got a nice porch area, picnic table, which I'm sure one could be an easy sit if wanted. You can switch it to an easy sit. Nice little sitting area, again, with the scaled down furniture that 
really fits the motif of these lodges. Very nicely appointed. And of course, you have your dining room. This is set up to sleep four, three in this tent. We have uh, the kitchen is to sleep four, just in case one of your neighbors from another tent decides to come over. <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> um, you have, of course, the bunk bed. Let me see if I yeah, nice. The sunshine. These are double bunks. Nicely done. They uh, look very comfortable. They have a roll away rail so that if the kids are rolling, they're not going to fall out of the bed. Nice, nice. And then the bathroom the is bathroom. in here. And then this one is set up with them. Now, this one has the same shower. Same shower. And it's called a rain shower. Mm -hmm. the European, rain shower. The European rain shower. Look how nice this thing is. Absolutely. Sliding glass doors. You've got the handle, the uh, removable handle, hot water, and then of course a regular size commode so that you, you have your privacy and, a, and the nice sinks. The, I think this is the new farm, do they call it the farm it's style? It's in Europe, so I'm not sure they have a special name for it. And of course you have your adult room. The bedroom, full size bed. Full size bed. Now the 27 sleeps about four guests. Oh. Okay. Plenty of room in here. Mm -hmm. I can walk next and then to the, the bed. Thirty nine can sleep six to eight. So you can get a lot of people you in this. You can get a lot of people. Thirty, thirty, forty nine is very large. Very Same nice. with the kitchen. Now in here, you can switch the dining room if you want another sitting area. You don't have to have two kitchen or seating areas. You can switch really? it to an indoor. You can swap that out if you want. So you can kind of customize the, the lodge to what you need to you something. You can customize to what kind of you want. You basically don't have to have it as we set up. We do give you a couple of options mm. online. Look okay. at that. And also some of the walls will move in different positions. will also help you. Oh, really? They're not stable. So you can move the walls. Like what could you do with this place here? If you want, you can pull the walls out forward. Give yourself a little bit more room inside the walls. Or you can push it in forward, if you, this side inward, if you want a little larger kitchen. You can also remove the, the, the bathroom and the, do it like a shower outside. Some people will do an outside shower right. so they have a larger bedroom so the bathroom being in a smaller position. When you said remove bathroom, I'm going, not in, that isn't going to happen. <laughs> not with my wife and I'm sure not with you either. You want that bathroom. That's you bathroom. want that convenience of having that bathroom. Very nicely done. What's the next one, Lisa? The next one we're going to is the Glamping Lodge. Glamping Lodge. And this is the Glamping Lodge 38. It is well comes in three sizes. As you can see, it has a very wide open porch. <laughs> now the, this Glamping Lodge comes in the Glamping Lodge 27, 38, and also 49. So they do get larger. This is the Glamping Lodge 38. Uh, this will sleep six to eight people. It comes in three different sizes, the Glamping Lodge 27 and 49 as well. The 49 can sleep up to seven to eight guests. Wow. And the, gla <laughs> and uh, the not Glamping that I Lodge 27 seven. <laughs> still will sleep six as well. But do you notice it has a very large porch area nice. for your outdoor seating, talking yeah. of your day. Plenty of room. I mean, you have room enough to put a picnic table out here if you want to do some outdoor dining as Put a large picnic table out here. Really, a lot of room. And the living Next room. Next we're going to go into is the living room. This is one of the larger living room areas. As you can see, you can spend the day here um, or the evening playing games with the kids, talking about the adventures they have the day, and planning the next day's adventure as well while you're sitting down nice and relaxed. Large kitchen area, room for a refrigerator, small refrigerator. Um, this sleeps six. Um, as well, so you have plenty of room. And a nice size kitchen area, counter area for, I guess if you wanted to put a microwave or a little microwave. cook area. It also includes, a, uh, and also the kitchen countertop, we just didn't, we didn't put them in every feature. Oh, the propane? The propane stove that would kind of go there because there's where... all of them. 
Uh, the middle cabinet can be taken out for a small refrigerator or you can shift it over and put a small refrigerator in there as well. Plenty of cabinet space or shelf space to put your canned goods or whatever There's, you need. As right? well as you have the shelving unit in the living room with the carryover right. just for the extra storage area. Exactly. It's not going to just be for games, but you could put all the dry goods that you are going to eat and everything is safely above ground. Nicely done. Notice that above me there is a floor. And in a moment, we're gonna tell you why there's a floor in this unit. And next is? Next is the bedroom. As you can see on this one, it's a very large bedroom. Yes. Plenty of room. But the best part of also this tent, when you come out of the large bedroom, is you have a double sink bathroom. That's what my wife saw. <laughs> Same with the rain shower, the European rain shower is in here. But that way you have plenty of people using the bathroom at the same time getting ready for the morning. There's plenty of space. She saw that the double sinks. Which one's mine? I go, whatever you pick. <laughs> Whichever one you pick. And this, once again, this is a very nice sized bathroom indeed. And the rain shower, the European rain shower, plenty of room. It's not a typical, like if you go in an RV or you go into some hotels and they're just tubs. And no, this is a rain shower, walk-in shower. Really nicely appointed. Very, very comfortable. Uh, I, I'd be proud to use your bathroom. <laughs> uh, now, for the pastry resistance, or the pasty resistance, as this we say This part here. of the glamping lounge is the upstairs area. This will sleep four single beds, or like a double in a single bed. Right now, I only have a decorated with two single beds. But what tent have you ever really camped in that you have a two-story? Never. The very first is this one. I'm going to show it to you. A two-story tent. But this is glamouring. So we are going into something, into territory you have never seen. Look at that. Look at that. The top is beautiful. Two beds, but you can put four. So lots of room, lots of floor space, lots of area. You can stand up. Uh, I was in it yesterday. You can stand up in it. Very nice two-story tent. <laughs> that is unique indeed. I want people to, uh, for the folks that watch this, we're located right in Pigeon Forge. At 1236 Parkway. 1236 Parkway. And the landmark would be, and everyone knows this, the Amish, Amish Crafts and Country Market right there, right across, the right across the street. You used to see a truck out there, but now you're going to see these beautiful lodges. Correct. And don't be afraid to come and see Lisa, Stephen, or I forget the other girl. We the have girl. Nikki, we have Dasha, we have Rob. Our staff is constantly growing, learning, and uh, we can't wait to show you our tents. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind people will fall in love with these because Passing by, you cannot see what's in here. You can't get the feel of what is yeah. in here. And you know what? They also, if you drive by at night, even though they're closed up, they look beautiful with all the outside lights all lit up. It is a little landmark. People do notice it too when they drive by. Very much so. I, I think people will be impressed. And where would this application be used to put one of these up? Well, you have different people. You have some people that have plenty of property that will put it down on their property like mm -hmm. as a guest house. We have a couple of cute grandparents that put the small Woody Juniors um, on their property for kids, for their grandkids as little boards, or sleeping out where they don't have to really go camping anymore with their grandkids, right. it's on their property. But it is camping, but not camping. Well, it's you easier know? for the grandparents not to have to pitch a tent when they want to go visit <laughs> with their kids. They can stay up um. all year round. We also have resorts that have them. You know, so it really just depends. Some people are also purchasing them to make their own Airbnb on their property. Very good idea. Very good idea. And I will be placing, once again, those three places that are located in Gatlinburg, where you can actually go. Gatlinburg is a Camp, Le, a Camp Le Mm-hmm. They have, I think, four or five. They are the, had the original tents that came over seven years ago. From and the still Netherlands. Up. They are the first people that had them. Even though the company's been around for 10 years, those are the first tents that came to the United States. We're right over there in Gatlinburg, and they're still standing up. Um, off the cuff, how much do they rent for approximately? That I don't know. Neither do I. I think Stephen mentioned Stephen it was in the Stephen knows 100, the prices. $120, $150. Yeah. Well, and, the, and then uh, here in town in Cervervo, we have um, 
uh, the Ridge, which is a new resort. Mm -hmm. You also see our t their tents are also on their commercials in the I morning. I didn't know that. I just drove by the Ridge. Yes, it's they, the one on the hill where the motorhomes all are. Yeah, but if you go back, they have uh, they have tents in different sections. So they have a total of um, ten, but I think they only have eight now. So they have the Woody Thirty Eight and the Luxury Suite, which we do not have. So they have uh, five of each. Um, so they are doing very well, and they love their tents. They oh, are yeah. planning some more, but they're still expanding there because it's such a new campground. It, That's a really last year. nice, campground. beautiful ground. Really well done. And, then you have a uh, little arrow over in Townsend. Mm -hmm. They've had a few of them. In fact, in December, they are getting two of these Woody 49s being put up no in kidding. December. They're waiting for the season to end, so not to interrupt their guest, but they're putting two Glamping Lodge 49s over and over. An idea how much one of this, this would cost, just off the cuff. This setup, the way we have this one, this would run you about $38,000, and that is complete. Floor. Ready walls, to go. Furniture and tent. So that includes the decking? The decking, the floors. The furniture. The just furniture, the way you see the, it. The shower, the propane um, stove. Everything as you not see bad. it. Not yeah. bad. That's for what I'm looking at, not bad at all. This would be a real investment for your property and a real eye catcher for sure. Mm, yes. You, this is something you do not see every day here. Yeah. And if you go on our website too, we have a a calculator on there. So if you're thinking about opening a campground or Airbnb, um, basically you put in what you pay, you think you're going to pay for that tent, mm -hmm. um, the construction costs, the maintenance, and what you want to charge a night, and roughly how far you think, how many nights you're going to rent it out, and it will calculate how long before you get your return on your investment. And it wouldn't take long when people get in there. I can imagine. No, it wouldn't that take that. People long. talk about this type of stuff. I know that. Great. I thank you for the tour today. You're you welcome. did a wonderful yes, job. Did. And and every time I come here, I just fall in love even more and more. I did mention it to my wife, and as soon as I'm talking, she opened up the file cabinet and pulled out the divorce papers. <laughs> and I didn't have to say much more. I go, I guess we'll stay here. Everything is very good. But she says, I do want to go see them. I said, of course, my liege. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Her Majesty. I see him, you know. And, uh, if you do go talk to uh, the Ridge, Jessica, they're Jessica and Mike that run that place, they're wonderful. Very friendly. I hear very only outgoing. good stuff about the Ridge. Yeah, they're very they're very sweet over there. And I noticed the type of motorhomes that go in there are the high end, class A. Really, I mean, it's well uh, appointed throughout. It's so laid out that the future shows where they're going to build back there. Oh, they have a full size gym, yeah. pool. <laughs> They even Everything. have a big music hall and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It, yeah, they've done very well with that campground. Very nice. Uh, when we have people in from out of town that are coming to see the tents, we try to book them, have them go to the Ridge. So they get that before they buy the tent, that real feeling of sleeping in a tent. What a way, and they're loving it. It's a test drive. It is a test drive. You go and, you, and test drive one of these lodges. This is amazingly different, unique and fun. This, I could see having fun and people over here having a big picnic and a barbecue out here. Everybody sitting and laughing and still be camping but not roughing it. Yeah, nowadays not a lot of us like to rough it. <laughs> no, we're all getting too old to rough. I know. Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I Enjoy appreciate it. that. There you go, my friends. Another action-packed episode of Vacation Station TV and hopefully we gave you some information that you can take to the bank with you and if you want to go to the website it is tentmasters.com and just and everything is there everything is there and you'll see more tents than what we have on on our showroom oh i want to go look at that tentmasters.com thank you for joining us on vacation station tv today remember comment like and subscribe and of course we'll do this again real soon